Oh, well, g'day guys. I finished down the apiary for the day anyway. The, um, I'm just going to show you what I do with my frames. I make my own at the moment because I just cannot afford to buy them. They're, uh, they're not too bad, you know, for homemade. Got a good groove in here. I use fishing line because when I cut the cells out, having wire is a real pain in the pants. So if I want to cut out a queen cell and it's been built over the wire, which for some reason the buggers always do, you can't get it out without damaging it. With the fishing line, you just cut it and at the end of the season you take the frame out, process it, get a new one next year. So this is what I do. Make it quick. I only run two lengths of... So basically it goes in, long and back. That's it. There's just two singles. Put it there like that. Get, a, get some wax. Slot it through there. And put it in the slot of the top bar. Now this would take you guys about half a second, but because my hands don't work too well, it takes me a while. But, you know, we get there. Like that. So it's in the, it's in the, the groove. It goes over this side of the first wire, well, first fishing line, underneath the other one. So basically it's just snaking between them and it's trapped there. And that's all you need. Gravity holds it where it's meant to be. If you left it in the shed over winter it might curl a little bit, but just I just don't do that. It's all good. And I hope you can see, you should be able to, I just get a brush and some wax. Brush it on there, and just let it run down. So as you can see, I brushed it on and it just ran down the seam and has filled it all up. And the other side is empty. So I just get the brush again, put it on, just let it run down until it comes out the bottom. And that's it. That's waxed in both sides. Ready to go? Just like that. That's uh, a couple of hundred of these I've done so far this year. So I'm getting really sick of it, but you know. Anyway, thought you might be interested. It's quick, cheap, and easy. See you later.